All right, guys. Hi, how are you? My name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And we're going to be making or doing a kiss pour with two seven to eight ounce Tom Collins glasses. Um, they're actually plastic. So, um, yeah, I can reuse them and it's great. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 colors we're going to be using. Maybe maybe 12 um, and we're gonna start off by layering we're gonna do one at a time I think so we're gonna do that I'm gonna come in with this beautiful metallic blue color and this is Prussian blue and let me see here um, color shift blue flash and then a little bit of gold to make everything happy. This is Decor's 24K gold. And a little bit of white. I don't want it to mix too much, but um, we want it to be happy. And that is permanent violet. Dark by Goldens. We're gonna go down the side here. This is Nicolazzo Gold. Let me see. I have Goldens Iridescent Gold. Come back in with this fabulous color. We have a lovely light magenta. And let's come in with some white. Actually, nope, not yet. I have this metallic raspberry or something. A little bit of white. Come in with a smidge of gold. I haven't used the green yet, so let's bring in some of this candy apple green. And then I have, let's do blue. Yep, let's do the light blue because that's a cool color. Color shift plum or whatnot. We're not quite sure. <laughs> white. Gold. And I'm actually going to come in with some of this Prussian blue or actually a lot of blues mixed together to make this custom color. Do that. And let's do that fabulous pink. We're going to put that to the side. We're going to start off again with the white. And I'm going to come in Definitely with the gold. And then this fabulous blue mixture. I'm going to come in with some of the green there. Purple. Pink. Do a little bit of white right there. And gold. Let's see here. Let's come in with a little nickel as a gold. Um, I'm just gonna jump right into this shifty blue. iridescent gold white all right all right so that one's a little fuller so let's come back over here use the rest of that up I love that color 
and top this one off with a little bit of green and a little bit of green. All right, so those are my colors. I'm gonna move some of this out of the way. I'm just looking to use up paint right now. Move all this over here. Don't have much from a puddle. And this is a puddle, not a pillow. Pillows are made of house paint. I'm just gonna actually go around this with this mix of blue that I have going on. All right. Eek. Let's see how we do. I'm getting real close. I don't really want that green to mix too much. Oh, it's very trippy. That's really cool. Hopefully it stretches out just as. I'm gonna leave some of these colors in these cups and use them later on the corners. It's crazy cool. All right. Just giving the bubbles a pop. Now, I'm a little concerned with this area here. It does look like gold though, but just to be safe, we are gonna come in. Oops, where that came from. And do that, there's so much gold riding on top. And then, yeah, why not? I'm gonna come over here. This is so pretty. Okay. So I am gonna use the rest of my custom dark blue from the Ninja Swipe a couple weeks ago that if you haven't seen, you gotta see, um, as my flow extender. That way, everything moves beautifully on the canvas. I'm going to start stretching this out. Oops, just wanna give a pop to these bubbles. And I will keep doing the torch as we stretch this out. And I think what I want to do is kind of move this orientation so that the the leaves so cool with these colors. Um, I'm hoping to kind of make it go corner to corner. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but it'll be fun trying to move it. Nonetheless, there we go. I'm going to come down over here and bring this side of the puddle over into here. I'm gonna go back to the middle. All right, it's so gonna come over here. I'm gonna come back. And I'm really interested in seeing how this opens up. Maybe it won't work. My paint is moving real fast because my base coat is really quite thin compared to my rest of my paints. This might be one of those fake it till you make it moments. <laughs> Trying to get all the corners covered and edges. I'm gonna come over off this one too because I wanna 
get a little bit of that white off. And now I'm just gonna go off this area here. There we go. I don't want to lose control of this piece. All right, all right, all right, there we go. Ah, so alien-like, I love it. Come down over here. This is, no, I'm gonna come off over here. <laughs> this one is so cool. It's like psychedelic seaweed or something of that nature, but uh, that was fun. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I kinda don't like that right there, but we'll just leave it as is. And I'm going to get it up on cups and then we'll bring you in for a close up. See you soon. All right, pardon the glare, but look at this. This is so cool all the colors in those feather-like, fun, seaweed looking. I don't know, I'm gonna call this the psychedelic seaweed or something, it's really cool. I love all these rainbow colors in here. Some boulder cells I got in there. And uh, yeah, you guys have been fantastic. Thanks so much for supporting my, can my channel. Uh, please consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up or comment with a purple heart below. Have a great day, guys. Bye.